Hello everyone, welcome to this prediction video on my channel. We're going to go over the Asian Cup 2023 quarterfinals with your host Matt from the Matt's channel. Let's start with Tajikistan vs Jordan, a favourable semi-final for both sides, uh, especially compared to what they could have got off Tajikistan. Um, I, I thought would struggle a bit against the UAE, but turns out um, it was a tale of two halves where... Uh, UAE were the better than the first half, but Tajikistan scored, and vice versa. Tajikistan, I thought, gave an okay performance. If they go to another penalty shootout, they can definitely be confident in their goalkeeper saving them. As for Jordan, um, what a way to get to the semi-finals. Um, they were the better team in the first half against Iraq. Iraq did step up their game to turn the game around, even though... The red card in itself was questionable. Jordan did a great job at taking advantage of Iraq's defensive errors and just not set the fact that they didn't set up properly and were too focused on killing the game off. Jordan did a fantastic job at killing the game off. And when you look at this game, the South Korea game and the Malaysia game, they can score goals, but are suspectful at the back. Um, Tajikistan, they, they've they also got three goals in the last two games. Uh, my thinking is, I think Jordan are the stronger team. Tajikistan are capable of getting a win, but I'll say this game ends Tajikistan 1, Jordan 3. And now Australia versus South Korea. Well, both sides got to the, uh, this stage in very different fashion. Australia show that they've got another side to their game in, after they beat Indonesia 4-0, uh, who albeit aren't on the level of, of most of these teams in the knockouts. I think the fact that Australia have been able to demonstrate that they can kill teams off, they can earn score more or when and they need need to and have the opportunity seeing graham arda alden jürgen klinsman will definitely be an interesting battle and as for south korea um they had a poor 80 minutes against saudi arabia stepped up towards the last five to ten minutes before added time cho came clutch when when ne they needed to for south korea were the better team in the first half of extra time and then saudi arabia the better in the second south korea have the better individual players but feel as though graham arnold uses his squad more efficiently i expect they're going to make sure all that the space it is around the defensive area are going to be closed down so the, the South Korean attackers can't run in there so much. Australia are good in the air as well. Of course, we've seen Harry Suter score. He can be effective on defending and attacking corners. There are other examples as well. Craig Goodwin showing he, in, that he can be effective from the bench. My prediction, I am going to say it's a narrow 2-1 victory for Australia. I think they're going to be more clutch when needed to. They're going to concede attacks, but I think they've got the game management on their side and some quality players that can get them over the line. Iran versus Japan. Iran um, wasn't as convincing as I thought. Started the first half decently, but then quite a lackluster in the second half. It turned out they needed to find another way to get to the stage and that was by winning a penalty shootout losing Mehdi to is a big loss they're gonna have to turn to Sada Azmoun I don't know whether he's gonna be player to um, take Iran to that next stage they've got some good attackers in general playing the pragmatic game against Japan I think can work Japan, it was it was a good seven or eight out of ten performance against Bahrain, and, and they used their depth very well. The substitutes are on the same or similar level to their starting in lineup. I do feel good about them going into this game. Suzuki, if Azmu or anybody else is to test him, it, that's going to be questionable to see how he reacts. I think if if Iran can get some crosses and headers in the box, that's going to be what on way that they can trouble Japan. I don't think Suzuki was really at fault for that goal, apart from he could have done better with a communication to be clear that that ball was going to be the keeper's ball before Ayase could edit 
Missing Taremi's a big loss. Didn't affect my thinking too much. I, th I still think Iran are going to put some crosses in the box. They're going to maybe trouble the centre-backs a bit. But the depth Japan have and the chances that they can create, I don't know how well they'll fare in a, in a pragmatic style now that they've come up against one of the other favourites in the tournament. But my thinking is they will get the win here, and I'm going to say it's Iran 1, Japan 2. And now Qatar versus Uzbekistan. This is definitely a game where both sides could win. Qatar were very good in the group stage. Against Palestine, they were decent. Got the result um, after a slow start. And Uzbekistan, I didn't see their Australia game, but they at least the, the draw was a respectable one good result. I thought the only game that they've been like very good in was against India. And we know how underwhelming they've been. Well, I was saying that I did predict them to be bottom. Um, they had a good performance against Thailand. Maybe not as dominant as they could have been. This is a game I think can go either way. I have a feeling the hosts will maybe get what on against the odds. Having Afif and Ali with the difference makers. They've got a stable defence. And I'm going to say Qatar win this by two goals to one. So there we have it. These were my predictions. What do you think? Let me know what your predictions are. What games that you're looking forward to the most. If you can decide. We've got a good set of quarterfinals coming. Let me know any of your thoughts. All, all engagement. Whether it be likes, subscribe, overs, comments are appreciated. Let's get at least eight likes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next time, see you in the next video.